All right, Slack Monster fans. Going to watch something here from Joe D'Amato, starring Laura Gemser and Lily Karate. It's called The Alcove. Let's check it out. Here we have Lily Karate, Alessandra on the right, and their maid Belma on the left. Housekeeper. They're apparently having an affair with each other while Alessandra's husband is away. But now her husband, Ilya, is coming home. Ilio. The actor, Al Cliver. Here's the prize of all my acquisitions. He's brought home a gift. Genuine black. He's come back from the Zulu Wars, and he's brought back the Zulu tribe leader's daughter as a gift. Laura Gemser. Oh, Lord, a Negro woman. Now, why in the world would you want to bring that sort of person into your home? I mean, she smells. Can't you see how dirty she is? Oh, my God, man. Ah, she's going to have to wash those clothes unless she means to live off wind in a tent for one. Of having saved his life, the chief... Obeyed the ancient tradition of Abyssinia and presented me with his eldest daughter, Sir Val, who stands before you now. I could not refuse her without causing offense, and you... I guess these two have grown closer recently. Don't do it. What do you think you are? Why? Is it different here? Civilized here. Live accordingly. Velma's jealous that Elio's come home. Because that might put a damper on the affair that she's been having with Alessandra. Elio is writing a book. He's a paid author. Meanwhile, Zerba doesn't know how to walk in high heels. Alessandra and Velma do find a, a little time to get together. And Zerba's watching, too. Back with her you husband. Tell me about the intimate things you taught her while you were in the desert together. I passed on what I'd learned in whole house to the state. Could I have only one master? Ilio's leaving again. Be that as it may, my dear, I have to go. We'll discuss it further when I get back. Will you pay me then, sir? Yes. Velma doesn't like Zerba. God, I can't stand that dog. She gives me the creeps. I expect her to jump right out of the shadows onto us. Sir Bow, be good. Server got mad and ran up a tree. I'm drag you down, do you? Come down. I won't hurt you. It wasn't your fault. I brought a present for you. He's going to give her away. time for such things. So now I give you to her. His wife. From now on, you will belong to Alexandra. Body and soul, you understand? As you were mine when your father gave you to me, now you are hers. Before she can become hers, though, she has to do some weird, weird ritual which involves licking her. That looks too poor. Alessandra finds herself getting very attracted to Zerba. Furio has come home. Ah, oh, so you're Furio, the great white god's son and heir. Elio's son. Velma, the famous secretary. I've heard how efficient you are. Glad to know you. Why don't we go in? Alessandra and Zerba are doing the deed in the bedroom. Can I come in? What's going on? And they locked the door. What did you lock the door for? Furio and Velma are attracted to each other also. Helio, of course, can't stop watching. And now Velma gets in on it, too. Of course, she's going to be jealous for different reasons. Alessandra has Velma tired of Velma. Sweet, but you have to sack her. I'm sure she was a fool to you in your work, Anya. 
Only now I'd be pleased to get rid of her. I don't really see what harm she could do here. She Elio once again has to leave. Thelma, of course, continues to be jealous, losing her lesbian lover to Zerba, who was learning to play piano. Leo pays me what I'm owed. I'm leaving you to your lackey, the one you told me you'd be presenting to the zoo. I am amazed that you could speak to me like that after what you've got up to in this house. Now you're to make peace at once. Say you're sorry. Go on. Peace? I'm not at war with anyone as far as I know. Ilya wants peace in the house, apparently. You hypocritical sow. I love you too, Mata Hari. Ilya brought home some stag films for me to watch because he wants to get into the stag film making business too. And meanwhile, it appears that uh, Zerba is starting to feel up Velma now. She's going all over the place. He wants these three to, to perform to in the porn movies. And who would never report us for immorality. And who's going to perform in the pictures? You are, of course. You're all young, pretty, and sensual. Yeah. Zerba gets a little feisty, though. I'm not going to be in your filthy movies. You've already used me enough in real life. So the film goes on. That is uh, Velma tied up, and uh, Alexander's going to play a nun. They were all going to wear masks. So no one could tell who they were on film. But Alexandra pulled off Velma's mask. What do you mean anymore? Come on, beast. Zerba did get involved. They bring in a gardener. And they all take turns with her. On film. Everyone got drunk and fell asleep. And then uh, Velma got up. And she stole the film reels. I'm yours. All the way. It's you who does the owning. Yes, I know, Alexander. I possess you. You are mine. You are my whore. She makes a lot of demands. Wants to kill Velma. Velma goes to Furio. Let's go home. I want to straighten this whole thing out. My father's got a lot of explaining to do. We are privileged. She wants Ilio to be her slave now. She wants Ilio's jewels. You had us all very worried. I and like I said, she wants Alice Chandler to kill Velma. <laughs> Furio tosses the reel in the fire there. It flames up and engulfs Zerba. And that's basically how our movie ends. I guess Zerba is going to die. Alright, in the bright sunlight here, let's talk about The Alcove. Uh, what a sleazy little film this was. Uh, directed by Joe D'Amato. Stars uh, Lily Karate, who was in a movie I reviewed last week called The Exhibitionist. Uh, Laura Gemser, of course, you know, as uh, one of the Emanuels. And Annie Bell, who uh, was in a movie I reviewed about a year ago called Forever Emanuel. Uh, she played Laura, uh, the title character in that in that movie, too. So, boy, again, uh, what we got here is a movie that takes place in the 40s. Uh, some guy comes home from the Zulu War. I don't even know if that was a real thing. But he comes home with a, a slave girl that was given to him as a gift by the tribal leader, Hence uh, Zerba, played by um, Laura Gamzer. Uh, the uh, his wife uh, Lily Karate is uh, having an affair with the maid Velma, who's played by Annie Bell. Um, Zerba or <laughs> Manuel here notices that, and then she gets involved too with the wife. And then of course uh, Velma gets jealous. Uh, Velma also wants to date uh, the son Furio uh, of of the master here. I don't know this film is just all over the place, but it's it's a sleazy sleazy mess. There's a lot of lesbian action in this movie, um, some regular straight sex too. And then of course we get that scene at the end uh, near the end where uh, Elia wants to. Um, 
uh, get into the stag movie business and films uh, his uh, ladies, uh, and of course he ends up they end up raping uh, Velma on the table there, uh, both uh, from a female rape and a male rape. It's just a it's a sleazy sleazy mess what this movie is, but it's fantastic, right? It's an hour and thirty three minutes long, um, a little longer for a film like this, and. Um, uh, the picture quality looks great. Uh, Severn did a fantastic job with this disc. Um, I think this thing is out of print now, so it's going to cost you a little bit if you want to find it. I looked on eBay right now. It's um, The lowest prices were like $50. The highest prices were like $175, uh, which seems outrageous to me. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you can get it cheaper than that if you want. Um, it is worth it. If you like these kind of films, you're going to love this one. I actually had this movie on a pre-recorded V... Actually, no, it wasn't a pre-recorded VHS. It was a, a bootleg VHS from a uh, PAL... Uh, tape. Uh, I don't think the quality was that great, uh, but allegedly this one is completely uncut too. So I had seen this once before. I didn't remember a whole lot of heck of about it, but um, wow, what a film. So anyway, there's an interview with uh, Joe D'Amato on here also, and um, Al Cliver was the uh, male star in this. He played Elia, um, the uh, husband in this case. He did a lot of movies uh, along these lines too. I think I have reviewed several movies that he's been in. So I think he was actually dating uh, Annie Bell too. I seem to remember that from uh, when I was doing a review for Forever Emmanuel. So anyway, check this movie out. It's a good one. If you like sleazy, dirty movies, this is a great one. Uh, tons of nudity in this movie, lesbian stuff, uh, several crotch shots from all three female stars. Great stuff. 1985, this came out. Emmanuel, I'm sorry, Sylvia Crystal was like 35 at the time. So anyway, check it out. It's a good movie if you like this stuff. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. It's called The Alcove. Watch it. Bye.